Okay, so we're back with part four of the tutorial series, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set a background image using the block parameters. So let's go ahead and open these up. And in here, you can see that we have an option to change the background image. And to do so, simply click on the miniature image right here, which is going to bring up this box. Then you can select any image that you want. I'm just going to go to browse computer select this image right here, click open, click OK, and as you can see the background image has now been changed. So let's go ahead and recreate this block. So I'm going to remove this one, then go to add block to page, and you can select any pre-existing block. I'll pick this one right here, then go to edit code and delete all the pre-existing code. Now create a new section, I'll give it a class name of tutorial 4, and since we're only going to add a background image in this tutorial, we don't actually need any divs, so all you gotta add are the mobrize parameters, so I'm gonna add those right now, MBR parameters like so and let's create our first parameter here so input type and like I said we want to do a background image so do type image give it a title I'm gonna call it uh, background image then finally give it a name, so name BG for background. Let's save that. And if you go to the block parameters, you can see that we now have a new parameter here called background image. So let's go ahead and click on the miniature here and select a background image for our site. Select this one, click OK, and you can see that nothing happened. But if we go ahead and open up the code, you can see that a value has been added. And this is the path to the file that you selected from the menu before. So now what we want to do is set our background image to match this URL. So to do that, all you need to do is type background URL and then at and the name that you specified here. So at PG. We go ahead and save this you can see that nothing's gonna actually appear yet and that is because since we don't have any content in our block the height of the block is set to zero so nothing's gonna show up so to actually see this image we need to specify a height so I'm gonna do height 100 VH let's go ahead and save that and you can now see that our background image is appearing so now that we have the very basics out of the way in the next tutorial series or the next tutorial videos we can start getting on with actually creating some custom blocks so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in part five